All right, y'all. Uh, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the 5.1 banners, 5.2 banners, and 5.3 banners. And we're gonna be talking about the updates we're gonna be getting in 5.1. So tomorrow is the live stream. They're gonna be showing off this beautiful woman right here. She is so beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. They be killing her with the woman again. Like she really. Come on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, besides the point, we're gonna be talking about all the characters we're gonna getting in 5.1, 5.2, and 5.3. And even 5.4. Now, this obviously isn't all conformed. This is all leaked and stuff, but we're just going to be talking about it. But first off, I want to be talking about the update we're going to be getting on 5.1 real quick. So, in 5.1, we're going to be getting a new Spiral Abyss update. Um, This right here is when you're clearing 4.12. Um, uh, so, you can start immediately at 4.12. So, when you clear 4.12 or clear whatever like highest floor, you will claim every floor below it at max stars so if i do 11 right 10 and 9 will be max stars so i could just get the primo gems without even having to do the stages which is nice but actually i think spiral bus is kind of fun sometimes so i feel like if you can still do it if you like it this is a cool option though for like whales and like you if you know you're gonna beat all nine stars you're then just just do that but if you don't know you want to have fun just go in and do you have options now so you can skip the whole abyss and just beat one time and just get all of the primo gems or you could just go each one and just do it that way but you got options now good quality of life change i mean it's not really a negative or it's mostly just positive at all so it's a cool change um so my bad <laughs> i got a bunch of these things pulled up so let's talk about 5.1 so 5.1 we're gonna be getting a new geo sword character this beautiful woman down here, she is bad as hell. I'm not gonna hold you. But anyway, she's actually really supposed to be really good. Her kit is really tight, and she's actually a real like she her kit's actually pretty good. So we're gonna be getting four characters. Only one of them will be new though. She will be the only new one, but she does seem good. We're gonna get three room one, three three one, three runs. So uh Chiori, you guys probably know her. She has the dual swords. She's pretty good, but Geo is still an iffy element. If I had to rank all elements, I think Geo is still number seven. Zhongli's really good. So Zhongli's still top ten in my opinion. Ido's pretty good. A bunch of the Geo characters are actually still pretty good in the game. But Geo is just one of those. It's, it, to me, it's one of those weaker elements. It's still good, but it's still one of the more weaker elements. Um, but she's pretty good. She's solid enough. The biggest Ws, if you're going to summon a 5.1, if it's not for the new girl, you're probably gonna summon for either probably Nadia. Um, Nadia is still, to me, top 5, top 10, and still probably the best Dendro character in the game, in my personal opinion. I'll hate them's good. Um, it's a couple other good Dendro characters, 5 stars and stuff. But, um, Nadia just, she just does what she does. She just pops her all, and you just go crazy. She, she's really, really a stupid character. She's so good. But, um, yeah, I would say out of the whole 5.1... She's probably the most must summon if you don't have a Dendro character or you want to make the game a little easier. She, she's the one to do that. She's really, really good. Next up, we got Hu Tao. Hu Tao is pretty good still. She's one of the more older characters. She actually is the oldest character that is coming back. But um, she is still pretty good. I actually beat uh, Floor 12 with just uh, Hu Tao and Yolan. I got I, I missed the last couple stars, so I got I got 7 out of 9 stars in the last the 12th floor. But... I still did pretty good. I mean, I was using Hu Tao Yuan, and Hu Tao still can put up some work. She's still pretty good for her old character. The power creep in this game isn't that bad, so the fact that she still performs pretty well is pretty good. So if you really like Hu Tao, she's coming back. Um, I would say 5.1 seems pretty solid. We don't know how many Primo Gems and all the content we're gonna get, but the the banners like this seem okay. I'm, I'm not gonna say they're a must summon. If I were you, I would say for the Archon or say for someone you really, really want. But 5.1 seems solid enough. We'll see what she looks like though. Her kit though is pretty crazy. I'm actually gonna highlight it down here, like right here. These th these three lines right here are pretty good. I mean, if you're using um the new the new knights like the Night Soul characters, it's pretty good. Um, that's a pretty good buff. It just it's kind of just nice to have. And in C2, I mean, this is just... It depends on the elements on the team, but, like... Like, guys, just having a crowd... Just 50 crowd... Like, crit damage? It... Like, that's just... 
it, I don't know. Like, this is just crazy. Like, she just, like, there's so many different buffs she, she could just get. I'm assuming this is not giving crit damage because that would be kind of OP if she just gave everyone 50 crit damage. Give everyone 40 HP. That would be kind of broken. I'm assuming it's just her, but those buffs are still really good buffs. Like, all these buffs are good. And then C4, C4 just increases teammates' normal charge and punch. Like, that, that, that's just flat out just increases everyone. And I feel like this is really good for characters like Raiden, who had the burst do that. Um, Zhao's pretty good. Not everyone's going to be doing this. Well, actually, everyone is doing this, but... This is just pretty good. Like, this is just a nice flat. This is probably the most simple line ever, but it's pretty good. And the C6, I mean, not everyone's going to go C6, especially for a Geo character, but... If you are a big whale, I mean, pretty much, it seems like she just becomes a main DPS at that point. She seems pretty good, though. I'm not going to hold you. So, we're going to go down. Actually, go here. I'm sorry. So, yeah, she's the 5.1 character. She's pretty good. But, um, I, again, I, she's not a must summon. She, like, she, like, if you really like her character, sure. But if you need her, like, if you think, you, oh, she's going to help my team, no, nah, I mean, she ain't going to do that. So, 5.2, are gonna be, it's actually not the Archon. So, in every other update, the 5.2 was the Archon. For some reason, they decided to drag this one out. And now 5.3, we're getting Archon. So, for some reason, if you like the Archon, you could be waiting, all right? I'm just going to lie. I'm just going to be real. So, 5.2, we're going to not kind of get the Archon. Only says it. You usually get the Archon. But we're going to be getting this new character who's a five-star bow user. She looks... She's pretty pretty. I ain't going to lie. She's probably... The five-star bow... She's probably going to just be... I mean, I, I don't know what I expect from her. Animal characters are usually good supports, but she could be a DPS. I don't know. Animal characters, though, are pretty damn busted, so we'll see. And then 5.3, we're going to have the Archon and the new 4-star here. Now, just flat out, I want to say the, the Archon, I mean, the chances that she's going to be the best unit in the game is probably going to be really high. <laughs> I mean, there's some leaks saying she's probably going to be insane, but... I, I don't know. I got a feeling she's probably going to be the best unit in the game. Um, if I were you guys, though, like, if you're a free-to-play save, like, I would just save your everything you have for 5.3. Um, if you really like Geo and really like her, then sure. We don't know her kit yet, this girl. Ch Chikasa, I, I'm sorry, I butchered her name, I'm sorry. But we don't know what she looks like. She could be really good, but we don't know. But, uh, I, I'm telling you guys right now, uh, the Archon, chance of her being good, uh, I, I, I'm gonna say it's probably like a 90% chance she's good. But uh, these guys, they, they, they're, they're, they could be solid. We don't know yet though, we don't know, but we know she's gonna be at least solid, so if you really like Geo, you, you could definitely summon for her, but. Besides the point, that's pretty much it. We're only getting one new character next update. The live stream is tomorrow. Should be getting a lot of free stuff, but that's pretty much really it all we're getting, honestly for 5.1 we're just getting one new character in the reruns now if again if i were you i would definitely save your gems for the archon but to each their own if you love geo summon for her definitely summon for her but that's it guys thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys think are you guys gonna summon a 5.1 or are you guys gonna wait for 5.2 5.3 oh one last thing before we end this video i forgot to end so it didn't end at 5.3 we also have, apparently, apparently, Madam Ping will be a 5-star. I don't know if this is true or confirmed. This is obviously speculation, but, you know, every Lantern right in 5.4, every 5.4 update is Lantern right, and they're going to drop a new leeway. That's why leeway characters, there's, like, 50 leeway characters in this game, and there's only, like, a lot more. Like, Izunuma hasn't gotten buff in forever. When is the last in is it is it, is it I, forgot, I don't even know who the last in character, but it, it was a long time ago, all right? So yeah, no, um I'm just gonna flat out say it that yeah, yeah. This is gonna be 5.4, probably Madam Pink. Very interesting, I will say. But we will see. We will see. We will see how she plays, how good she is, but let me know who you guys who you guys gonna summon for and who are you guys waiting for. But that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.